lot faster than our floating lab, and way cooler. I sure don't mind getting away from fire for a day. One thing about the ocean, it doesn't burn. Sea monster! <laughs> or maybe smudge? <laughs> Sorry. Three more miles due east, Doc. Is that it? Drilling platform number six. They used to call it Old Faithful when it was pumping oil. Then it went drier than Danny's meatloaf. <laughs> so why start it up again after all these years? New owners. They think they can drill deeper and find more oil. I suspect the seabed below the rig has become too unstable for any new drilling. That's what the mayor wants us to find out. The town can't issue any new drilling permits until we know for sure. Getting a little choppy, guys. Hang on. Whirlpool, dead ahead! Turn, heat wave! Quickly! <sighs> can't fall free! Too strong! Ah! <laughs> Mayday! SOS! Dad! Somebody! It's no use. There's no one around for miles. Uh... Mom. says Autobot, but I've never seen any bot that big. Oh, well, it looks like he means us no harm. So far. No! Oh my! Who is this guy? Hey, uh, Thanks for the save, but I got it from here. Let go! Hey, did you hear me? You gonna let us down or what? That bot's got some nerve. You and I are gonna have some words. High tide, my friend. Welcome to Earth. Opie, yo land yacht. How are you? Optimus. Thank you for answering my call. Good thing I did. I was having a gander at the local seabed when I caught their SOS. Found this wee rowboat circling the drain. Wait, you... you know this guy? This is High Tide, my old comrade in arms and the finest master seaman who ever lived. High Tide, meet rescue bot Heatwave. And these are some of the humans I was telling you about. Dr. Green and Frankie, Graham and Cody Burns. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for saving us. Huh. Now then, you wanted some words with me. Any in particular? Just, uh, well, thanks the rescue. Come. I want you to meet the rest of the team as well. <sighs> Rowboat. High Tide has come at my request for a purpose. To make our team seaworthy. Is this about the time I accidentally sank Heatwave? No, Blades. This is about getting some advanced training in seagoing rescue techniques. We've made plenty of water rescues. I know. But if that old oil rig is reactivated, we may need skills beyond even yours. That's why I've asked Optimus for help. It does seem prudent. If my suspicions are confirmed, any new drilling could potentially trigger an ecological calamity. That is why I called in an expert. The Chief has graciously agreed to go without your services during your training. 
We can use our old rides for a few days. During that time, High Tide will lead you. Follow his instructions and learn from him. Ooh, new honcho bot in town, big guy. Better watch your step. If Optimus says you're the real deal, that's good enough for me. Agreed. We will endeavor to make you proud. <laughs> we'll see. In truth, High Tide has much to learn from the team as well. Oh, the smoke alarm. Meatloaf must be done. Dinner! You too, Doc and Frankie. <laughs> Thanks. One last thing, High Tide. I recommend having a human guide to help you negotiate their world. Don't trouble yourself, Opie. Frankly, I find the species not worth bothering with. Humans may yet surprise you. I suggest Cody as your guide. He has experience orienting Autobots. Yeah, I suppose a small one can't be too much trouble. He's hardly a blip on my radar. Ten, hut! Look at you scurvy wharf rats. Uh, Optimus didn't give me much to work with, did he? What are you supposed to be? Some oversized Skeeter bot? Um, uh, actually, a helicopter, sir? It wasn't really my idea. You see, one day, just after we'd arrived on Earth... When I want your life story, I'll ask for it. Understand? Flyboy. Yes, sir. I mean, no, sir. I mean... Uh, uh, uh. Ow. Servo! Whoa! Noble! Oil spill! Sir, as I'm sure you are aware, the Marine Code classifies oil as a hazardous material to be collected and disposed of responsibly. What? Hear that, Servo? Why, we're practically criminals. But he's sure enough right. Here, Swabby, start mopping. Um, uh, oh, you mean me? Uh, uh, to the best of my ability, sir. Swabby. Job one is to make you mangy lots seaworthy. Servo, some marine rescue gear for these sea slugs. <laughs> You're the handiest bot ever. Kind of cute, too. Big Red's already a fireboat, and the Mosquito's got a rescue harness. So what to give you? Here. Uh, surfboard? Um, I've never really learned how. Well, then it's about time you did. Anyway, the board will do the surfing for you. Climb on! And for me, sir. You're doing a fine job, Shippy. Keep at it. Now, there's a throttle under your front toe. Ah! Use your knees! Lean into it! Wow! <laughs> Go Boulder! I feel so light! <laughs> so free! Whoa! Whoa! So sinking! Boulder! Boulder! Rescue bots, roll to play that! He's heading for a deep water trench! Way too risky for a crew of hatchlings! I don't even know why I bother swabbing the deck. All anyone does is drip on it. Sorry, sir. Guess I got kind of carried away. You sure did. Almost permanent-like. At sea, there's no room for error. Yes, sir. It's okay, Boulder. I can't surf either. Now, me dainties, if we can get back to our drills. 
try to get this right, Flyboy. Servo, victim mode. Don't approach into the sun. The glare off the water makes it too hard to see him. Swing that tail around. Hold your position steady. Now drop that line. Uh, Mr. High Tide, Blades actually does a lot better if you encourage him instead of yelling. Oh, do you think so, Blip? Well, I've been training bots for thousands of cycles, so I think I know how to train this one. Okay, calm, deep breaths. Go to your happy place. Slow and easy. Yikes! Speed it up, you balmy bug! Any chance you didn't notice that? <laughs> so, team, how'd your first day go? It wasn't my fault! That bad, huh? Well, you'll do better tomorrow. Whoa, what is that? His name is Servo. He appears to be a cross between a schnauzer and a toolbox. Impressive. He belongs to High Tide. I just volunteered to buff out his dings after today's, um, incident. It wasn't my fault! The rig's in even worse shape than we thought. Rusted beams, missing struts, exposed wiring. That's not all. The cap on this well looks dangerously corroded. If it gets any worse, it could cause a huge oil spill. I'll file my report today. I'm recommending that site be off limits until the rig is repaired and that old cap replaced. I agree. I'll order a new one, then run some tests to find the best way to install it. See if we can get through this drill in one piece. Servo will dive into the brine. Boulder, you'll surf in to scoop him up, then back to Heat Wave. Be wary of the waves. They'll pull you under and keep you there. Chase, keep an eye on Boulder. Blades, yeah. Blades, where in blazes is that lily-livered locust? Take it easy, Milo. We're gonna take you to the hospital. Um, Copterbot, return to base. Wait, you mangy moth! Get back here now! But, sir, a human needed help. Those weren't your orders. When you're under my command, you don't move till I say so. You're a washout mosquito, a waste of energon! And you're a big bully! Whoa. Oh dear. Uh oh. Blade spotted a real emergency, and he did exactly the right thing, because he cares about people. We're here to help, don't you get that? Ah, uh, you got gumption, Blip, I'll give you that. And I hate gumption! So stay out of things that aren't your concern, you hear me? We've all been hearing you, now you hear me. Cody's right. I'm only sorry I didn't say it first. There's no more loyal or helpful rescue bot than Blades, in this or any other galaxy. He waved. You mean that? Not now! I don't care how chummy you are with Optimus. Nobody talks to my team that way. Nobody. That's it, Bucko. Incompetence is one thing, but insubordination is another. Get off my ship! <sighs> Anybody else feeling expendable? Before I let Optimus know what a bunch of slimy scalapro you all are? I am unsure of the meaning, but I'm certain it was not complimentary. Sorry I let you down, Optimus. I know you wanted us to learn from him. High tide can be demanding, even harsh, but I asked him here for a reason. With all due respect, sir, he crossed a line. So maybe I should just sit this one out and let him teach the others. I would prefer you return. I don't believe either of you has finished learning from the other. 
but the decision must be yours. Hmm, as I feared. It's just peanut butter, Daddy. No, I mean these readings. I've been trying to determine the best way to install that new oil cap. But the situation is more critical than I thought. This entire area is far too unstable for future drilling. With any rig, one tremor could trigger a disaster. Griffin Rock Emergency. What? Right away. Cody, call High Tide. Tell him we need him and the bots. Now! I see them. Just barely. They're surrounded by burning oil. And that rig looks ready to fall over. Do your job, Mosquito. Yes, sir. No, Blades. We can't reach them. The fire's too high. We'll have to find another way. You, Red, out of my cabin. Or I'm going, you can't. But too dangerous. Now, scoose. What? What are we... High tide. Any luck? I tried to plug the leak. Couldn't be done. We await your order, sir. What now? Ah, your cockamamie planet and its flaming oceans. Look! Finally! Somebody who does know fire! <sighs> Vacation's over, hotshot. Time to get to work. Hey, I was waiting for you. End of the line code, too dangerous. I need some of that goo you used to soak up the oil. Oh, and, uh, permission to come aboard, sir. Granted. Chase, you and Servo load up his tanks with the dispersant. We need to put that new cap on the leak, but we have to get to it first. I'm going in for Doc and Frankie. Follow me on your board. Chase, you with us? I am not sure my mopping experience will prove useful, but I am most happy to help. Rescue bots, surf to the rescue! Ah! That's what I was thinking, Blip. You'll be a sailor yet. Nice. Woohoo! 
Nice one, oh. Ty. Oh. All right. The rig was destroyed, Mayor Lusky. And I'm afraid the site is too dangerous to consider any future drilling permits. I gotta admit, Opie, your bilge rats got the right stuff. Even the whirly bird found high gear. Sadly, that's the nicest thing he's ever said to me. Good work, Skeeter. Second nicest. <laughs> you have taught them, High Tide, but you have also learned from them. And that was your plan from the get-go, weren't it, you old skellywag? Well, you were right. Teaming up with humans mm, might not be the worst idea ever. You all work well together, and it might be my management style could use a bit of finessing. I have one more request. Since Dr. Green's floating lab was lost in the fire, would you be willing to remain on Earth for a time to take its place? Till I'm needed elsewhere, it'd be my pleasure. I'm off. Servo, stay here and watch over these lollygaggers. That's an order. Blip, uh, Cody, here's his whistle. Keep it for me, will you? Snowball. <laughs>